Hi, today we're going to talk about the D-Link new IP camera, the DCS 1130L, which is my D-Link enabled. So the setup is going to be so simple, it's going to be done in three steps, unlike the conventional 20 steps where you have to do port forwarding, you have to know DDNS and all the very complicated technical stuff. I'm going to show you what we need. First thing first, you of course need the D-Link DCS 1130L, a notebook and a router. What we're using here is a ADSL modem router built in, but a normal router will just will do just fine. Meaning, um, if you have any wireless router at home, it can connect seamlessly as well. But I see it set up this set some instructions manual and etc. Which I will not read since it's going to be a three step. I assume it's easy. The camera, uh, RJ45 cable, and then of course the power cable, and we have two antennas. Because this is a wireless end camera, we have two antennas for fast connection, and then we have this white box with the stands. It sounds pretty solid. Okay, what's going to happen here is, since it says start here on the disc, this is where I'm going to start. I look the CD in. Select your language. We have a list of language to select from. So select the language that you are most familiar with. For me, it's English. And then we'll go next. And we'll see what happens. Does your router have WPS? My existing router does not have WPS function. Looking at the camera, there's a little WPS button over here. And this button should allow you to connect to your router if it's WPS supported. But right now, we're not going to use WPS since my router does not have WPS. And also to have a easier and more stable connection, it is really recommended that you do your initial setup using the RJ45 cable. So now we'll go next. Attach the antennas, which is easy to screw on. In. and then to the camera. If you see, that there's actually two screws here, but I think uh, on the desktop this should work very well. Okay. See, there's a little knob here for you to lock the camera or loosen the camera so that you can adjust the angles and, you know, to the angle that you actually want. Click next. And instructions is to connect the RJ45 cable. Oh. Okay, I'm first going to connect it to the router. See, all the router, uh, this router has four ports, so I'll just use any one of the ports here. And then, I'm going to connect it to the Ethernet port on the camera. Next, I'm going to connect the power cable, which I plug it in here. It's very direct connection so far. Very easy. It says that I have to ensure that the LED status is solid green after 30 seconds. Let's just wait for a while. It's still red and um, we'll see how it goes. Okay, it's now solid green. So I'm going to click next. So is the status solid green? Yes, it is. So it's now checking the connection with the router. And we'll just wait for a while. Dealing promises three steps, and so far, we're already at the second step. Wow. Okay, now select the camera. There's only one camera, so we're gonna go next. Okay, camera's password to secure your camera. So this is the password that I choose to secure my camera. Okay, I'm gonna click next. Saving the settings. Okay, I'm going to connect my camera wirelessly. It has gave me a list of wireless network and I'm going to key in my network password, which is what you use to secure your wireless network from the router. We'll see if it connects. So now, 
I unplug the Ethernet cable from the camera and click continue. It's really, 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 really simple. There's no more complex setup uh, which I have to call technicians to come down to my house to help me with the setup or anything. If this is the case, I'm sure anyone will be able to do it. Okay, so now this is the exciting part about adding to a dealing account. Okay, no, I don't have an account, so I'll need to sign up for one. And I accept my terms and conditions. Okay, now it's signing me up. Check your inbox. Okay, so I'm just going to do that and be right back. Okay, so now we're back. Uh, camera is connected. Uh, at the end of the setup, there's actually an icon that's created. It's called My Camera, which is a shortcut to the My Dealing portal. Okay, so now I'm going to double click on the camera. My Dealing is actually supports a lot of browser. It's supported by Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, and also Safari. Alternatively, if you don't want to use a shortcut, you can actually log into sgmydealing.com. This is the landing page. Now we'll sign into MyDealink, which is, uh, and then we'll enter the email address. So now I need to run the ActiveX. Uh, run add on. I'm going to run. If you're not sure what to do, there's actually instructions for you to do the install button. And let me do it again. Okay, so now it's running. Live video. Skip active X a bit of time. Okay, now I'm running the active X. Okay, great. Now we see a live video that is done actually through the internet and it's fantastic everything on wi-fi it looks good and wow it's just amazing that setup has become so easy it's really done in three steps next video i'm going to show you how we can view it on our iphone and android phones and see you later After you key in my D-Link, you will see that there's only one, it's called My D-Link Lite. Download the application, it's free. It's actually developed by dlink.com if you scroll down to take a look. Okay, it's loading very quickly. Installing and it's done. Okay, I'm going to click my D-Link. And this is very similar to the landing page that I saw. I'll need my email. And this page actually shows what um, applications, uh, sorry, what other cameras or other devices that are my dealing enabled connected here and within my account. So this is the camera live. Okay, uh, I have options of uh, taking snapshots. So what it does is it actually captures the, the snapshot and then also I can go full screen as you can see here okay over Wi-Fi the motion is still very good it's still very good I must say for wireless connection okay as you can see my camera is over here it's connected wirelessly I'm not connected wired and I think that this quality is really very 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 acceptable and very good very amazing Okay, so after this, I'm going back to standard, and this is what I see. Okay, okay now we have the Android phone, which I'm very not familiar with. So what happened is, you go to the App Store, look for search for my D-Link, and it's free also. And you do the installation, and okay. Okay, it's now being downloaded. I'll be right back after it's done. Okay, now the application is downloaded. You click on the application. How do you do this? Am I right? Ah. Okay, and it's exactly the same interface. As you can see, I just need to log in. 
and I'll be back. All right. So we will go into the camera, and we have exactly the same buttons at at the at, at the uh, bottom row. We have snapshot, info, full screen, and list. So same thing. We'll just go to full screen and still smooth, beautiful, crisp video. So this is DCS one one three zero L by D Link, uh, which is my D Link enable. Setup is super easy. Even I can do it. I'm sure anyone can. Should try it and believe for yourself how easy it is to do the setup this time round with my D Link. Thank you.